Welcome to my channel and welcome to a new video. First of all, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched my previous video. I was just amazed with how much views I got on it and I wasn't expecting it, guys. In this video, I'm going to chat about what really made me buy the M4. So, yes, why did I really buy the M4? Firstly, the M4 has been my absolute dream car. First M4 I saw was in a golden wrap, which was just absolutely mesmerizing, which was just mega to look at. I grew to like it more and more. Then I discovered there's the M3 as well. There are four things that I look for whenever I'm getting a car. First is looks. Second is drivability. Third is practicality. And fourth is value for money. Touching on looks first. I think the M4 just looks really, really good. It's got this very mean front and at the back you can find the quad tip exhaust which makes it look aggressive. It's got the 666M alloy wheels which is very very eye-catching I would say. Big bulge at the front adding a nice touch and so is the carbon fiber roof which is actually very functional because it lowers the center of gravity on the car. The color of the car is actually Sakir orange. Looking at it online I thought to myself it's not really nice to look at you know, so I still viewed the car, but coming to the dealership whenever I saw it in person, man, the color of the car was just so nice. It's very rare as well. I haven't really seen much um, secure orange and force. And then you've got the silverstone interior, which just complements well with the paint of the car. Then there's an M4 badge on the seats which lights up at night, which I think is pretty cool. And then a bit of carbon fiber panels and M stitching around the steering wheels on the seat belts. Just this nice little sort of things that makes the look, makes the car look absolutely amazing. Next is drivability. This car just absolutely rips. <laughs> Jeez. 0 to 60, 4 seconds flat. Brakes, oh, bloody awesome. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> this car just absolutely moves. delivery in this car is just so linear not just like the base model where you have really spiky low-end torque everyone argues about that exhaust now I think it's pretty good for stock form now this car handles very well for the size many people said that it's very tail and happy if you're used to a rear-wheel drive car shouldn't be a problem for people who doesn't really know much about the F8X generation or series, the engine on the car is a 3 liter twin turbo in line 6. It produces 444 brake horsepower and about 406 pound foot of torque. It has a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. Don't get me wrong, manual is hella fun to drive, like, but I went for a DCT because I just wanted to get the full potential of the car. Overall, the M4 is just magnificent to drive, it's so fun to drive, it just makes me smile every time, every time I drive it. Now, practicality, the fuel economy in the car on the motorway is about... 30 to 35 miles per gallon and in the city 
it's about 20 to 25 and that's driving responsibly it's got a bigger cabin than an m2 which i almost had uh, obviously it's not as practical as the m3 because the m3 is a saloon so you've got four doors easier for people to come in but i've had people in the back and they actually said it's pretty comfortable they've got apple carplay as well built-in sat nav heads up display which is actually pretty helpful sometimes with the speed limits it'll show you what speed limit you've got so yeah it's quite a practical car to drive and it's easy to daily drive it first week i had it i was daily driving it <laughs> now for the value for money for the price that i got the m4 it's an absolute bargain it's an 18 plate and upon collection it's only done under 1200 miles uh, the dealership has already done the running and service which saved me another 1300 grand i think yes i think it's a bit around that price it's not as expensive as an as a c63 or rs5 which are its main competitors Yes, that, that's basically everything on why I really bought the M4. That's, that's a no-brainer. It's my dream car. And I've been absolutely enjoying driving every single minute of it. Right, Oreo? Sleepy boy. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. And please subscribe. Thank you. Uh, feel me. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drown in my sorrows. Drown in my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit. Oreo, does the video finish? Are you gonna stay here? Come on now. You always want to be on camera, don't you? <laughs> Comment if you guys want to see a video of Oreo, just basically like what we do on a daily basis or on the weekends. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm counting this money while counting my blessings.